We worry about elderly family members, whether it comes to money, health, or more. One main thing many people worry about is dementia. What are the signs, how you can help, and how you can spot it? Joining us now, Pamela Palmer, a professional guardian. Pamela, thanks for joining us. This Thank is you so, much so for important, me. and we're learning more and more about it with the years, I'm sure. Yes, we are. How often is it diagnosed? Is it maybe more prevalent than the diagnoses actually show out there? Uh, most likely. Um, the most important thing is to get an accurate diagnosis. So seeking treatment when you see your loved one uh, mentally decline. Sometimes it's an acute symptom of some delirium related to an infection. It could be a metabolic disorder. Um, and delirium tends to be very treatable, where dementia is more of an advancing disease process. And it's very insidious and can happen over a number of years. Explain to me delirium. 14 to 56 percent of adults mm -hmm. who are hospitalized yes. experience delirium. That's a yes. wide range, but it does mean that it can be a considerable amount. Sure, and you take somebody out of the normal environment and say they have an infection or they're receiving medications they don't typically mm -hmm. have, and you'll see changes in their behavior. Um, quite often they're not observed by the hospital staff or the treating physicians and things because they're not seeing that person on a daily basis, so they don't know what their baseline is. So, so that's where families get involved. You as the child or the relative, the yeah. caregiver, you have to be that person's advocate. Is Absolutely. That, are you the primary advocate in that situation? Uh, yes. As a guardian, um, you know, that's part of our role. When people are being either exploited, neglected, or abused a lot of times, or they just don't have a family member, maybe they never had any children and their spouse is deceased, uh, sometimes they need somebody in their life to advocate for them and be a part of their life to be able to recognize these symptoms. It's estimated by 2050 more than almost 14 million people will be diagnosed with dementia. Is this always been the case? Are we just understanding it more and seeing it more? Well, I think we're living longer, for one thing. Mm. Um, there's a lot of environmental factors. They really um, are unsure. There's been a lot of re recent research. Now they're calling... Um, most dementias fall under what they call neurocognitive disorders, mm -hmm. um, and it really needs to be investigated further what's causing the dementia, if it's normal aging, um, if it could be over what they call poly pharmacy, too many medications on board, mm -hmm. or there could be some disease underlying other disease processes. When you get in those situations where the underlying disease is maybe undiagnosed, you've got so many medications. Correct. Where do you start as a family member? Do you um, just start meeting with a physician? Um, I would highly recommend being a strong advocate for your elderly parents or loved ones, neighbors, friends. Um, having somebody go to the doctor with them and explain okay. this is not their normal baseline. Um, very common in nursing homes. I'm a registered nurse and um, you note a change in behavior. Nine times out of ten, the doctor will order a urinary, urinalysis and it turns out to be a ur urinary tract infection. Very treatable with antibiotics. Yeah, you and, don't need the long-term And they return to baseline. Um, where your dementias tend to be more advancing. And they can be signs. I know, you know, I look for when I go out on an exam to do a capacity exam, one of the things I look for is like damage on the front end of the car. Is mom running into things these mm -hmm. days? Is she putting keys in the freezer instead of on the counter? Um, is there food in the house? Is she picking up her mail every day? So these are things that you can look at when you go out to visit your parents or loved one to see how are they doing? Are they paying their bills? The the bills, still on. <laughs> bills makes me think of the financial burden. It, it, there can be a financial burden on the families. Uh, uh, well, there could be, but a lot of times what you see is um, the elderly person just isn't capable of managing their finances any longer mm -hmm. or, or just their daily lives, um, organizing, getting to the grocery. Can they transport themselves safely still? Um, and that sort of thing. So, you know, these things happen very insidiously. So sometimes you'll have a family member present from out of state, particularly here in Florida, um, where the family may not have seen mom or dad for a year and they come down at Thanksgiving and oh my gosh, the change that they've seen in that year. Oh, so sometimes it's good to see what was mom doing six months ago? What was mom doing last year? You know, has her behaviors changed, her mood? Is she depressed? So it's really important to get a good physical mental forward, health exam, sure. correct. Pamela Palmer, thank you for your time. Thank Very you. important thank stuff you. to go over and keep track of. Uh, if you or someone you know would benefit from this interview, because there was a lot in it, we'll share it with them uh, on newsforjax.com. Check it a little later this morning.